I, in the I, building. I, I the street the executives. George Musselbach. DJ, DJ, DJ. Technique. What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Young Brink, and you're tuning in to the number one music and entertainment TV show in Memphis and the Mid-South, Brink TV. Now, joining me is a very special guest tonight. I'm talking about the homie, Miss Deborah Sun. Now, not only is he an artist, he's also a spokesperson for Chronic Killer, the fragrance. Of course, y'all seen it in plenty of stores around town. We're going to be talking about Chronic Killer, as well as their compilation album, as well as the project you got out. So, what's going on, man? What's happening, bro? Hey, first thing I gotta say, thank you for coming on the show. No really doubt, thank you for having me. Now, look, I'm, I'm, let me tell you something. Okay. I've been seeing Brink TV okay. for a couple, well, several years now. You yes. got doing your thing, man, popping, your grind. I said, man, I can't wait to get on here. And I'm honored, and the pleasure is all mine to be here, bro. Most definitely. Really we sure is. appreciate that. Like yeah, I said, yeah. man, we got a lot to talk about. So no doubt. let's go ahead and get into Miss Deborah's song. Now, first and foremost, uh -huh. how did you get the name? Uh -huh. <laughs> Cause this is a very unique name. How did you get that name? I get it all the time. Let me explain, man. Okay. okay. You know, my mama, man, you know, you know, God rest her soul. She passed last year in February 2015, you know what I'm saying? But you know, the legacy lives on with her name, because her name, you know, is my my stage name. Right. right. But uh, you know, I came up in the hood, man, North Memphis. We you know my mama hit us migrating all over Memphis, North Memphis, South Memphis, Third World, or Black Haven. Mm -hmm. And but everywhere my mama touched down, man, you know, my mama was a street mama. Yes. You know, you know, yep. she was street. She was kinda good. I okay. Guess. She was kinda good. Yep. And so when Catch found out, I I go to a local corner store, convenience store, and Catch found out, you know, Deborah when Miss Deborah was my mom, mm -hmm. it was just like Instant respect. Yeah. Oh, you Deborah yeah. Song? Yeah. You Deborah yeah. Song? You Deborah yeah. Song? So when I got into really just doing my thing as far as the music and rapping, and I said it one time in one of my songs, I said, Miss Deborah Song. I used to go by Lil' Dead. Okay. You know, my name is Dez, and Dez right. for short. Yeah. So I was like, Hey, Miss Deborah Song. I said, let me, let me, you know, let me the road yeah. with this. Yeah. Man, it's different, yeah. it's unique, it kind of stick to you, put yeah. a stain on your brain. You're right. And You're right. once you hear it, even if you fumble it a little bit, it's yeah. still gonna be like, okay. Yeah, you know, it'll stick with you. You're definitely right about the sticking with me part. Right. I can remember the first time I heard it, I was like, Miss Deborah song, <laughs> but it never left. You You're know right, exactly, left. exactly. Now let's go ahead and talk about the project. I remember you was telling me it's called Established in 1995, correct? Well, yeah, that's the personal project. Okay. That's okay. the personal project. Yes, it's established in 1995, okay. man. And it's, they consist of uh, me, myself, Miss Deborah's son, my dog, Yucky Chong. We represent PUR, which is an acronym for Posted Up Records. Okay. And we also have a subsidiary uh, logo and thing we go about, which is called On Your Week A Word. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. you know what I'm saying? Okay. So we screen that. And uh, we came up with the concept established in 1995 because I, when I go on World Star, when I go on the internet, you see so many real hip hop heads saying, "Man, I miss the 90s. Mm -hmm. I miss the UGKs, the yeah. Eight Balls, the yeah. Mysticals, the Master P." When hip hop was just at its peak, right? You know, right. and I grew up in that era, and, yeah. it, and you know, it's true. That's true. You know, and, and some of the new stuff I like, yeah. some of the new stuff I'm yeah. kind of iffy about. So I've talked to my dog, man. Yeah, I said, "Let's do an album call." And this when me and him really met mm -hmm. in '95. Okay. So I'm like. It's just all made sense, and so we put the uh, put the EP together, which is kind of outside of the EP, EP because it's ten songs. Okay. But uh, okay. we put the EP together, man, and uh, we established in 1995. It still give you that, that real music, kind of old school feel, but it's modernized. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's could see, you know, features our G Baby Roberts, Duchess of Venom. We kept it in house, home team, PUR, of course, and uh, it's on. Uh, www.postdoorrecords.com right now, mm -hmm. you know, which which connect you to SoundCloud. You can check it out, download it, and uh, the physical physical copies coming soon. And uh, man, we just pushing and grinding it. But in uh, I remember the lead single is Triple Double, right? Yeah, Triple Double. Okay, let's triple talk double. about this single. Like, what's the inspiration behind it? Like I said, Triple Double, man, it comes from uh, you know, like your favorite NBA team. You know, mm -hmm. everybody love. Well, most people love NBA basketball. Yeah. And you have you know your big three, like Memphis Grizzlies, Conley, Gasol, Zach. Uh, you know Miami, Miami Heat. Mm -hmm. You had um. Bosch, Wade, LeBron. Right. And so it's Miss Deborah's son, Yucky Charms, 
G Baby Roberts. So we call ourselves the Big Three. Got you. triple double. Got you. And like I say, triple double always look good on the stat sheet. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You're in double figures in all three categories: assists, points, rebounds, steals, or whatever. Yeah. You know, so triple double, man. It's just a catchy, up tempo type song, man. We just going in on it, bro. And G Baby Roberts is only 13 years old. 13. 13. Doing his thing, man. He's up and coming. We got a lot of things planned for him, so be looking out for him too. Most definitely. Most definitely. You know that. Oh, let's go ahead and talk about the company. Now. I know you got it over yeah, here. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. If we can't segue division, into man. that now. Okay, tell the people, what is the purpose of this album? Well, U of M, Underground of Memphis, not University of Memphis, okay? Uh, we kind of piggyback off there, but it's Underground of Memphis, man. It's just like, for me, one of my dreams come true. And let me tell you, man, bring me. I was one of them cats, you know, back in the day when I was younger. Uh, I'm the hardest. I'm mm -hmm. the hardest. I'm the I'm most bumping. Right, I can do it right. on my own. I can yeah. get it on my own. And I went through that phase. I went through yeah. that stage. As a young and you go through that stage. We you do. know what we I'm saying? Yeah. But but Memphis will bring you back to reality, brother. You Quickly. hear me? Quickly. It will bring you back Quickly. to reality. So I said, man, hold up, hold up. If they pop it, they take it off like I want to. Mm -hmm. So I humbled myself. Right. Right. I humbled myself. And I started just seeing things, seeing the bigger picture. I'm like, okay, you got this cat over here in this area. He killing it. You got this cat. He killing it. You got this female over She killing it. I'm like, Man, let's unify this thing in Memphis and just being honest, it's so divided mm -hmm. in the aspect. You know That's what I'm true. saying? I said, man, let me try to bring some artists together, man. See what we can do together. I mean, you see what Atlanta did, yeah. what they doing, yeah. did and doing. Yeah. You see what Houston did and doing. You see what Miami did and doing. Yeah. I said, man, Memphis, we need that. And if I gotta be the person that lead that that way, let me do that. You know what I'm saying, Miss Deverson? So. I got artists to commit to me, man, and trust me on doing this thing. And uh, we put it together, man. And uh, the album is nice. Man, the album is it. nice. And we just tried, I'm just trying to unify things. We talking about Dre, saying? the Finesse. We talking about Mac Dog. Who else we Mac, Mac, Dre, the Finesse, Mac Darrow, T, the Blue, Duchess of Venom, Yucca Chums, uh, uh, Mac Gutter, Squeeze, Yo Yo Money. Shouts out to Yo Yo Money. If you don't know about him, he do showcases every month called yep. Love and Support, okay? And he, when I say this kid got a following, man, come to one of, his, one of his events. You will see, you know what I'm saying? What he doing is just, just astronomical, man. It's great and it's beautiful. And I always try to support him as much as I can. And like I said, he submitted his song to the album, man. I was grateful for that. Just for all the artists that's on the album, I'm just really grateful for them. You know, like I say, trusting me to put this thing together and Chronic Killer, you know what I'm saying? And the album is definitely under the Chronic Killer umbrella. Let's go ahead and talk about Chronic Killer because you are a spokesperson for Chronic Killer. Right. Now, now, yeah. how, how did Chronic Killer get its start? Well, Chronic Killer got started when by one of my best homies, man. You know, he was doing his thing. He was up and coming. You know, he was out there grinding and going through the trial, the tribulation of getting the product off the ground. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, when anytime you believe in something, you're trying to come up, you go through certain things. Right, and uh, right. and uh, I've been doing hip hop and music, of course. And like I say, for, first and foremost, man, I'm a hip hop artist. I've been doing this since I was like five years old. Right. And I take the art and the craft very serious. Gotcha, you know, you gotcha. probably can tell when you listen to my music. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, and we said, like I said, we sat at the round table, man, and talked about some things. He said, man, let's, let's, let's combine and collaborate the air freshener with the music. Yeah. And just what we did. And so you saw the billboards coming up all over Memphis. You right. saw us in the streets grinding the flyers, the right. posters, right. the product. You see, and, and right now, man, you know, good ain't good enough for us. And we still grinding. Uh, we're in over 300 stores in Memphis in the tri-state area. And uh, it just both took us to another level. Yeah, like there's still a lot of work to be did, man. We doing that, and uh, a lot of people got it misconstrued. Like Miss Deborah's son is the yeah. owner. Yeah, I and, oh, I I no, 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 no. I'm not the. Uh, you can say I'm like a a board of directors. I or something. It has helped me to feed my family, right, you know, right. and do some things for me on yeah. a personal level. But you know. I, like I said, I'm the spokesperson right. and endorser, yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah. and it's just how it goes. And one thing I can say about Chronic Killer, the product actually works because yeah, I one got spray lasts all store, day. man. I we got stand it behind store. it. One spray yeah. lasts all day, man. man. I'm going to be honest, I'm not really a, a, a bud smoker anymore, but a lot of my but buddies see, are. A lot of, not, okay, a, a lot of my go friends ahead, go ahead. are. Okay. And, you know, they come in the car. They, I mean, super loud. You know what I'm uh -huh, saying? Super uh -huh, loud. Uh -huh, but, you know, uh -huh. I got it on dick. I spray it. You don't smell nothing. But see, it, it ain't only for the weed smokers. Let me yeah. clear that up right now yeah. on this camera, man. It's for all chronic smells and odors, man. Yeah. Anything that smells foul to you, spray this product, it's going to eliminate that foul smell. Yeah. You know, man, just the name, brother. And, uh, you know, we got all type of people that buy this product. Not only the 
the, the, the street cats, yeah. we got the, the, the Christians, the yeah. politicians, yeah. everybody yeah. loves I mean, it's undeniable. Right. And right. we have something that's unique can nobody to hold a candle to. Yeah. And, and we, we feel that and we believe that. One spray lasts all day. Now, we're talking about over 300 stores in the city of Memphis. I and the Tri-State area. And the Tri-State yeah. area. Uh -huh. I know you also mentioned you guys got your own stores in Dallas. Where else? Yeah, Dallas. We we, we, we penetrated Dallas. We had some stores in Dallas. And mm -hmm. uh, right now, we're working on... Houston, okay. uh, we up in some stores up there in Little Rock, man. Just you know, we just sprinkle like you know in the Arkansas, Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi, and stuff like that. In addition to that, you actually have a store here in Memphis, correct? Yeah, okay. essential. Well, essentials. Well, essentials is the fragrance shop we okay. have. This Chronic okay. Killer is in the uh, fragrance shop located at 7213 Winchester. Okay. Uh, body oil, shea butter, like I said, the air freshener, incense, oil burners, man. Anything you need for your home or your car. Fragrances, man, we got it. I mean, it, it, we got things in there you can buy for your significant other, you know, and for holidays and stuff like that, man. Come see you. 7213 Winchester Essentials. You That's know? what's up. That's what's up. Now, for the people that might be watching, you know, via live stream, might be out of town, uh, Chronic Killer, how could they po uh, purchase it? You can purchase it uh, at w.chronicillar.com. It's okay. www.khronic killer k i l l a dot com go on there type it in the website man we will take care of you whatever you need we'll ship it out to you and uh make sure we take care of you most definitely most definitely go ahead tell them all your social media that way they can keep up with you well on social media man uh far on the, on the, on the music tip go to www.postituprecords.com okay you also can go to uh www once again www.chronicillar.com for the chronic killer compilation we had an album before this also mm -hmm. that we dropped and it, you know, it, it should be up on there. So go to www.chronicillor.com for the music and the merchandise. And uh, postupreadings.com. They'll, they'll lead you to everything you want and need and you're trying to find out about us. Now, before we go, did you want to give out any shout outs or anything? Yeah, no doubt. I want to give a shout out to, first of all, everyone on the Underground of Memphis CD. Like I said, they committed to me, man. Trusted me to put this thing together, man. Um, they meant a lot to me. Like I said, one of my dreams and aspirations that came true. You know, Chronic Killer, um, all my people on, on, on the label with me. My label mates, Dutch the Venom, Yucky Chum, Kylie Dog, baby, my producer, the best producer, you know what I'm saying? I, I, in, in my opinion. Uh, T Ready, Cosmo, you know, my guys, they have to grind it. And last but not least, like get us out there on the grind, rain, sleet, or no, rain, sleet, or snow. I'm sorry, Charlie L. Fisher, man. If you ain't familiar with this cat, look him up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. This guy here, man, he all about the street grind. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So he he helps us out a lot, and uh, just uh, everything we got going on, man. Just just stay in tune with us, man. Support us, and we really appreciate it, man. We ain't gonna fail you. We really believe in quality over quantity, man. So when you deal with us, man, you gonna get something that's 100 percent you know most definitely no doubt that being said thanks for coming on the show and now back to more brink tv